Blue Cross Arena for the season. How do you think that the last game went? Well, I thought it was uh, probably an entertaining game for the fans. Um, <clears throat> it was nice to get the win for sure. I thought there was, uh, you know, our power play we got a couple goals, which was crucial for us. And, and certainly, it's uh, it's it's been much better over the last you know 10, 15 games. So that's good to see. What does it say about our inner squad that we can come out dominant on top of a team like Albany? Well, you know, the I, I think this time of year it's sometimes hard to, to find the. Uh, the motivation when you look at our last, uh, you know, 10, 12 games, uh, you got to give the guys credit. They've, they've battled through. They've done a good job of, of not quitting and not, you know, just showing up. They, they, um, I guess that's the one thing that I'm, I'm extremely proud of is that they, they never gave up. Including tonight, you know, down twice and fought back. And you have a tendency maybe to see score late in the areas. <laughs> <laughs> tonight we did. Anyway. And Wednesday too. Yeah. Um, you know, it's... Uh, I think start periods and end of periods are, are always big goals because it typically gives you momentum or it changes, you know, the mindset going into the, the break. And, and uh, yeah, we've been fortunate getting some late goals, which uh, has paid off. He just doesn't really have the numbers that you would expect from one of the NHL's best goalies. But was tonight kind of like a microcosm of the season? Just uh, you know, he gives up whatever four, but I mean, he was you know good. And he was kind of the pinnacle. Well, truth be known. Um, our first probably 25 games that went for Venus, I don't know how many went into that. Yeah. Uh, he was literally standing on his head, and, and we were getting out shot. I mean, the first shot, first game of the year, the shots were 40 a lot to 12, and we won the game. Uh, I can't remember the score of 5 to something. Um, I think it was 5 4. Was it 5 4? Yeah, it was. You know, so it's, it's certainly um, numbers are one thing, mm -hmm. but the way that he has played all season long, um, I think his growth that he has shown this year has been tremendous. Has he been, I mean, team MVP, obviously. Has he, has he, has he been your backbone this year? No doubt. No doubt. He's been, he's been the glue. Without his his uh, his game, it would have been a, I mean, it's a tough year anyway, but it would have been a really tough season. You know, the playoffs is always the goal. Always. You're not a developmental level, but uh, can you assess here with one game left how this season has progressed? Well, I, you know, our, our start to the season was, wasn't was bad. Um, I think it took a while um, for us to understand this league and what we needed to do. Now, certainly, you know, uh, I've heard a few people in this organization say we don't want to use uh, injuries, but when you look at the call-ups that we had early in the season, um, it, it really put a lot of people in the wrong chairs or the wrong spots in the lineup, which really put us behind the eight ball. We had, uh, you know, at times we had five, six uh, players from the East Coast Hockey League from a different organization in our lineup. And, and uh, you know, so that was very unfortunate, but it was what we dealt with. And, uh, and certainly losing Fulton to the ring early in the season and often, uh, they, were, they were kind of the backbone for a long time. So it's nice to see other guys step up now. When you see the lineup the way it was tonight, does it, does it make you feel like a what if? Like what 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 could have been this season? Because there's a lot of guys that were back from, from Buffalo that could have been part of this all year. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, as coaches, you don't live with what ifs, and you just live with what you have. And, and I think that, um, you know, we certainly didn't have this lineup throughout the season. If we would have had this lineup, things would have been different, that I'm pretty sure. Do you expect a similar performance by the team tomorrow night in Albany? I'm certainly going to prepare them the same way, and I expect them to show up in the same high-quality way that they did today. Not to get too far off the game, what have you learned about uh, Jonas in these, what, I guess, three weeks he's been here? You've, you've given him some regular action. You know what? I mean, he's, he's a talented goalie. He's a guy that has stepped in. He has won some games. He went into uh, Albany, actually, a few weeks ago and, and won a big game there. And, not a goalie. Not a lot of goalies can say that they've done that in that building. It's not an easy building, and, and he did that. And not only did he do it, I mean, but he made some big saves for us, specifically late in the game and early to keep us in the game. So, uh, you know, what? he's a guy that's capable, and, and uh, it's it's probably very very important for him to have gotten these games. Do you expect some emotion from the crowd there tomorrow because it's going to be their final game in Albany? Well, it's their final regular season game. I'm sure they're hoping for a long playoff run. Um, but, 
Yeah, you know, I, the last time we were there, uh, the, the fans weren't. It was pretty quiet. Uh, I imagine it'll be a little <laughs> different this time around. Good. Thank you.